Hey Como, I'm here today to talk to you about registration for the 2021-2022 school year. So first we're going to go over um, what credits you need to graduate and then we'll actually walk through the steps um, that you need to take to register. So in order to graduate from Como, you need to have 94 credits, so that's roughly 24 a year. Um, English, you'll need 16 credits, so that'll be, you'll take English for the next four years that you're at Como, so you'll get four credits each year. Same with social studies, you need 16 credits of social studies to graduate. So that's one year of world history, geography, and U.S. history, and then a half a year of government and economics. For math, you'll need 12 credits, so that's three years. So that's one year of intermediate algebra, one year of geometry, and one year of algebra two. Um, if you do come into Como already placed in geometry or algebra two, there'll be other math electives that you can take for one to two years, and then you can always take an extra year of math um, depending on what you're deciding to do for after high school. For science, that's also 12 credits, so three years. So that's one year of physical science, one year of biology, and one year of physics or chemistry. Um, for fine arts, that's four credits, so one full year. For FIAD, health, and facts, they're all two credit classes, so they'll all be taken for half a year. And then, of course, throughout your four years at Como, you'll take other electives that are offered, totaling up to 28 credits. So how to register for next year. So you're going to access the Google form that's found on the Como Como's Counseling website or your class Schoology page. I'll show you where to find that on Como's Counseling website. You're going to select the form for your grade. So now this is a two-step process. So after you select the form for your grade, you're going to complete that form with the classes you want to take, and then you're going to go register for those classes on campus. There'll be a video at the end of this presentation that shows you how to do that. And then if needed, you'll meet with your counselor after you register for your classes on campus to discuss or ask any questions you might have. Just some reminders, what you request determines the master schedule and staffing at Como. So really think um, carefully about what you're choosing because some courses, if they don't have enough requests, they might not be offered. And counselors will not be making changes in the fall, so really be mindful about what you're choosing because, again, counselors will not be making schedule changes in the fall. If you have any questions, make sure to contact your counselor. Their information is found here, and it's also found on the Como Counseling website, which we are going to go to now to show you where you can find the Google registration form. So you're going to go to Como Park's homepage right here, and then you're going to click on Students, Student Home, Registration Website, and then you're going to choose down here whatever grade you're going into for next year. So once you click on that, you're going to give, be given the options to complete the course selection form right here, and then once you complete that, you'll go on to Infinite Campus and register for those classes. So now we'll watch the video that shows you how to register for those classes. It's time to pick your courses for next school year. Get out that iPad, here we go. You'll see a little campus icon that looks like such. Click on that and log in just like you would on Schoology and scroll on down below the student tab. You'll see a more tab. When the More tab is clicked, you'll see Course Registration. Then you'll see the school year pop up for next year. Click on that, and then you'll see if you have no course requests, this little area on the left. If you already have course requests added, this little area over here on the right. Now when you notice, as you put in courses for your requests, it'll give you a little bar of how complete you are of 100%. Once you get up to 100%, it'll be nice and green and you're good to go. If it's really low, it'll be red. If it's in the middle, it'll be yellow. If it's green, it's good to go. It's your stoplight for success for your future, so make sure it's green. Now, here's how you add a course request. The fastest way is right below adding the course. You click on that Add Course icon, type it in. For example, here you can see AP Chemistry. There's AP Chemistry. Click on that little blue plus sign, go on down and click add request. It's that simple. Then you'll notice that it's there. 
Once courses are added, you'll be able to also add them as an alternate. Please do not add them as an alternate. Please only add them as a request. Once you add your requests, they'll populate here below. They'll be separated by required, requests, and alternates. The required are ones that your counselor put in or your counselor approved. The requests are ones that you put in yourself. The alternates are ones that you specifically selected as an alternate. For example, if you want to select ceramics, ceramics is very popular, and if it's full, you want a backup art class, so then you'll have as an alternate, let's say drawing, or painting, or jewelry. When you're finished requesting your courses, review the requests you have made and make any adjustments as you need. If you're satisfied, click this little print button. It'll have a handy dandy PDF like this, and then you can send it to your family, your school counselors, or even your pet dog. If you have any questions, contact your school counselor, and we look forward to discussing your schedule future. All right, that's all we have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to your school counselor. Thanks for your time today.